Hi everyone, this is Drew's Corner and welcome back again for another episode of Video Reaction. And our episode for today is all about Therese. Of course, ang pinag-uusapan ninyo sa Netflix. But for sure, for some of you out there would like to know kung ano ba ang meron sa Therese. Bakit ito trending at bakit ito pinag-uusapan sa buong Pilipinas at baka nga sa buong mundo na rin. So if you want to find out the point of view, my point of view as a viewer, you can find it here in this video. Baka hesitant pa kayo kung ano yung meron sa Therese. Baka, mag, baka, baka isipin ng iba or baka nasa isip ng iba is kung sasayang na ng oras. But I can share to you my point of view. So, let's find out! Let's talk about animation at first. Animation wise, sobrang I I got the the chills, no? Para I I I got the feeling of oh, I'm so excited to watch this animation or to watch this story because I never heard of Trese. Not until it was featured in TV Patrol. Na yun nga, um, it's a Filipino animation. It's just a Filipino storyline, and it will talk about the Filipino mythology creatures or myth mythological um, elements or whatsoever na talagang Pino Pinoy na Pinoy. So I'm really really excited with the animation and it really brought me um, parang into the next level of oy my excitement oy exciting ito so I, I am I am very pleased with the animation um, when it comes to yung di ba kasi batang 90s ako eh so hindi tayo doon kasi you know Filipino are not used to seeing Filipino animation especially in a global scale no uh, like Netflix so hindi siya ganun hindi tayo used to that so seeing that animation na na, na, na meron sa Netflix and it's a Filipino concept. Sobrang saya natin and um, level up tayo when it comes to marketing and for animation. So animation, I will give it four out of five. And let's jump into the characters. I love the character of Teresa especially. Um, para siyang si ano, um, yung si uh, Constantine ng female version. Di ba si Constantine is sobrang napaka-aspid din na lalaki and uh, talagang tinutugis niya yung mga masasamang elemento. Same with Teresa. Siya yung female counterpart ni Constantine na ganun din ang atake niya yung mga demonyo at mga, mga evil counterpart, no? So, I, I love the, the characters. Kalo na si Basilio at Crispin. I love them. They're very handsome. Um, naisip ko nga kung i magiging ano siya, live action movie siya. Sino kaya ang magiging characters nito? <laughs> Sino kaya ang pwedeng ma-portray sa live action? Naisip ko si Dieter Ocampo, naisip ko si Jericho Rosales. <laughs> ang dami kong naiisip na pwedeng, uh, na pwedeng pwede sa character nila Basilio at Crispin. And most definitely gusto ko yung character ni Trese and sobrang napaka ano niya eh, napaka parang minimalistic, um, introvert, um, ano yung character niya kasi since parang since lumaki siya na siya lang mag-isa or lumaki siya sa sa pamilya lang niya na without any other friends tapos yung mga friends niya or lumaki siya na labanan yung mga yung mga aswang yung lalabanan yung mga masasamang elemento together with her father so kaya ganun siya ganun siya ka introvert and not really a type of person alam natin na or or yung new style na uh, masayahin or outgoing person sa isang animation or sa isang storyline uh, yung character niya is more of really focused when it comes to uh, fighting the uh, the the evil spirits or the evil elements no ang maganda din doon kasi nakikipag communicate siya with the, the normal people yung sa police lalo na so merong merong trust yung police sa kanya at saka sa father niya before so nandun yung trust at the same time hindi sila hindi sila nagkakaroon ng conflict when it comes sa paniniwala ni Alexandra 
at saka sa paniniwala ng police. So at least nag-combine yung ano na yon, yung yung belief na yon. So hindi nagkaroon ng conflict. Ayun. So character wise, I I'm I'm happy. Um siguro ang gusto kong makita ay uh, makipaglaban naman siya sa isang manananggal. <laughs> And I will give 5 out of 5 for the characters. Next naman natin ay yung voice actor. Um, marami akong nababasa at marami na akong na, nakikita online na they're bashing Liza Soberano because of the voice, of how she portrayed the character. I think, as for me, I think uh, Liza really nailed it. Um, of course, kaya nga sa lahat sa atin, we need more improvement, di ba? So, same with Liza Soberano. Of course, um, meron na na siyang experience sa pagdadub. Kasi yung movie naman nila, dinadub din naman nila yun, di ba? So, I think this is a new opportunity for her to really showcase what she got. As for me, I'm satisfied with the voiceover of Liza Soberano. It's just that the character itself kasi is um, really need to be like, you know, to know sometimes, no? Um, and also, kailangan din ng medyo introvert. The Alexandra kasi is an introvert type of character. Kaya, masasabi natin na yung pagbo-voice ni, ni Liza na medyo nakukulangan tayo. Pero technically, guys, that's how it should be delivered. For me, ha? As for me, I'm not speaking from anyone else. love how she portrayed it and I love um, how it was being executed and delivered. Um, to tell you honestly, at first, sa unang episode, medyo na ano ako, na awkward na ako kasi pakadub ni Liza. Pero nung natuloy-tuloy na yung story, dun ko na ano na ay, tama lang at uh, saktong-sakto lang sa kung anong pagkaka-voice uh, act ni Liza. So, I'm, I'm very um, impressed with the voice acting. I will give that 4 out of 5. Ngayon naman, let's move on to the story or the plot. Um, I love how it was being executed. May shadong nag-level up ang story about the mythological creature natin. Paano ginawa ng story, kung paano ginawa yung characters, um, kung paano pinagtagpi-tagpi ang lahat ng, uh, ng lahat ng characters sa isang story. Um, it's not the usual story that we are used to, especially kung may mga aswang or may mga manananggal or may mga tiyanak. Speaking of tiyanak, no, um, may, naki may nabasa lang din ako na para daw bakit daw naging Spider-Man si Chana. I think, guys, it's more of a level up type of character ng Chana. Kasi we are used to Chana lang. Ganun lang siya. Di ba? Bata lang siya. But how it can be leveled up into a global or in a parang next level na pagiging Chana. <laughs> Di ba? So, I, I find it, ano din, I find it, um, um, different, but it's kind of level up. Nag-level up at saka nag-elevate yung ano, ng character ng, ng Chanak. So, I'm, I'm good with it. Um, yun na nga, uh, based on per episode, I am really expecting na sana magkaroon ng, ng manananggal na, na episode. I'm, I haven't actually read the comic. Hindi ko alam about Trese, not until pinature siya sa TV Patrol. So sabi ko, ay, ba't yung Trese na to? So I, I've waited for it para mapanood ko siya sa Netflix. And I didn't even bother na, na mag-check online kung meron ba itong comic or whatsoever. Not until nalaman ko na lang siya na comics pala talaga siya nung napanood ko yung um, Trese. Um, I was really amazed because of the plot and because of the how the twist of the story and um, you know, yung pagpapakilala nila sa bawat character at kung paano nila siya no-case yung character into a, an elevated level, no? And this is, again, as like what I said earlier, this is an unusual uh, type of, of story or a Filipino mythological or, or folklore na mga di tayo sanay um, na ganun yung atake ng story. So it's really different in this kind of way. No. So for this one, I would say the story is 5 out of 5.
And pahabol, before we end, no? Um, siguro ang hindi ko lang gusto, or hindi naman sa hindi gusto, that could have done better. I think what could have done better, um, sana, um, per, kasi first episode or first season pa lang naman yun, is I know that hindi naman ito pinalabas lang sa Pilipinas, pinalabas din naman ito sa ibang bansa, it could have been, um, parang, um, introduce very well when it comes to the character. For example, sa Tikbalang, sana merong ano doon, na Tikbalang is a blah 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 blah. Parang ganun lang. Para, para din yung ibang, sa ibang bansa na nanonood na hindi Filipino um, would know and would be introduced what Tikbalang is, what Chanak is, what um, Aswang is, ganun. So, it could have been introduced that way. Um, every time na may, may ma makasalamuha si Alexandra Trese na bagong character at least somehow ma-introduce yung character na yun sa, sa viewers so yun, yun lang naman um, you had to watch Trese you had to watch the animation if you are a, a, a comic fan of Trese for sure um, there will be differences um, uh, in executing it in an animated series um, siguro meron na kayong mga kasi ganun diba kapag sa libro at saka sa pag na-execute na siya sa film or sa, sa, sa TV hindi na siya same-same talaga kung paano siya na-execute sa, sa, sa book so for sure na excited kayo and for us, syempre and for me lalo na, na hindi naman ako um, hindi ko naman alam na comic sa sa Trese na series so I'm, I'm I was really excited and I was having fun uh, watching Trese. Ang uh, pangalo, dalawang beses ko nga siya napanood din. <laughs> Unang pinanood ko siya English, yung dub, and then pangalawa is uh, Filipino na. So yun guys, overall, I will give 5 out of 5 for una, siguro kung nung una ko siya pinanood, 4 out of 5. Kasi nung pinanood ko siya ulit, doon na nag-iba na yung pananaw ko na, ah okay, so 5 out of 5. So kaya overall, 5 out of 5. So yun guys, it's still streaming in Netflix. So I am inviting you, this is a, this is not a paid uh, promotion, no? This is just for me. I am inviting you and to support our very very own um, Filipino adaptation or Filipino animation uh, in uh, in a global scale, diba? And uh, please watch Trese in Netflix. Alright, so that would be it. And if you want to see more of my videos, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell button for you to be updated. And it's time. See you on the road. Bye!